first two questions I feel everyone watching this video is asking are just how powerful is this Ego Cordless Electric Leaf Blower and how much runtime do I get with the included two and a half amp hour battery? As you can see, when it comes to power, this leaf blower isn't pulling any punches. It's able to handle blowing leaves around just as you'd expect it to. I had no problems at all blowing these leaves into a nice neat pile. As for battery runtime, uh, Eagle claims a 20 minute runtime on the high setting using the included two and a half amp hour battery. And I got right about that amount of time out of it. I didn't set a timer and then run the blower constantly to verify that, but I did record most of my time blowing these leaves around uh, all the way up until the battery ran out. There were a few times I ran the blower for several minutes and didn't record because I felt I had plenty of footage already that uh, was, I wasn't even going to be using in this video. But counting up all the time from the footage I shot and then guesstimating a little bit the amount of time I was using it without the camera running, uh, the two and a half amp hour battery gave me between 15 and 20 minutes of total runtime on the high setting. Not long after I bought this blower, I watched a video on YouTube where a guy compared the runtime of eight different cordless electric leaf blowers. And he showed the battery dying on this particular model after just six minutes of constant runtime. In my experience, I believe the short runtime he saw was actually due to the battery overheating. When I first purchased this leaf blower and started using it, I had several times that the blower would shut off after only a few minutes of use. The indicator light on my battery was flashing red, which is what it does when the battery has depleted its charge. At first, I was shocked the battery was being run down that quickly. Uh, but after letting it sit for a minute or two, it came back on and was able to do quite a bit more blowing after that. I was running the turbo pretty much constantly on those couple occasions. And when I stopped to think about it logically, it all made sense to me. Uh, using the turbo for extended periods of time uses a lot more power and will, of course, shorten your battery runtime. Also, though, sucking down that much juice that quickly would definitely cause the battery to heat up quite a bit. I'm pretty certain running at a high speed for an extended period of time causes the battery to heat up to the point that the built-in fail-safes kick in, shutting the battery off until temperatures fall back to a safe level. Anyway, ever since these early experiences, I've made sure to only use the turbo for brief periods of time and haven't had this problem since. Now, 15 to 20 minutes of total runtime is going to be fine for some people, uh, but for others, it isn't going to be nearly long enough. Uh, my home sits on a quarter acre lot, and we have only a few trees on our property. When blowing leaves, the two and a half amp hour battery never lasts me long enough to do all the leaf blowing that I need to do. For other tasks like blowing dust off our porch, cleaning up after trimming bushes, or after mowing the lawn, it works perfectly because those tasks don't require as much runtime as blowing leaves does in the fall. Luckily, I have other Ego tools that also came with batteries, and I can easily swap one of my other batteries on and then finish the job. Not all people are in this same boat, however, so having to wait for the battery to recharge in order to finish the job is definitely less than ideal, and buying a second battery on its own is pretty expensive. When it comes to blowing leaves, I prefer using the 5 amp hour batteries from my lawnmower and snowblower, as they provide a lot more runtime than the 2.5 amp hour battery does. The 5 amp hour batteries, however, do make the blower heavier, which causes fatigue in your arms more quickly. Uh, even with the 2.5 amp hour battery, I find myself switching hands I'm holding it with as the tool weighs around 10 pounds. And although not extremely heavy, after 5 or 10 minutes of holding it, you do feel the effects. This is very easily remedied, however, by using one of Ego's shoulder straps. I bought one originally to use with my edger and tried it with the blower and ended up buying a second shoulder strap just for the blower because I liked it so much. Operating this blower is about as simple as it gets. 
You connect the battery, pull the trigger, and that's it. Uh, this model has a variable speed motor, so when I'm blowing off my porch and don't want dust blowing all up in my face, I can adjust this lever here to lower the blower speed, and when I need more power, I can turn it up. No matter what speed you have it set at, you can push the turbo button with your thumb to hit whatever you're pointing the blower at with everything it's got. The turbo stays active as long as you are pressing the button. As soon as you release the turbo, the blower will ramp back down to whatever speed you have the blower set to. To remove the battery, you simply squeeze the green button here, uh, releasing the latch, and you can then slide the battery off of the tool. Charging the 2.5 amp hour battery takes around 45 minutes on the included charger, uh, which is, you know, fast compared to battery charging times in the past, but is about par for the course nowadays, and still a huge inconvenience when you run out of juice before the job you're working on is finished. I've been using my Eagle Leaf blower for almost two years now, and I love it just as much today as the day I bought it. My particular model is rated at 530 CFM and 110 miles per hour, and came with a 2.5 amp hour battery and charger. Uh, that advertised 110 mile per hour speed, of course, is the max speed of this blower. Uh, according to the owner's manual, on low, it's supposed to operate at 50 miles per hour, 85 miles per hour on high, and then 110 miles per hour on turbo. Just for fun, I bought an anemometer to test those claimed speeds and found on low I was getting around 45 miles per hour, but on high and turbo I got no reading at all uh, because I failed to read the description on Amazon where it told me this particular anemometer only measures wind speeds up to 67 miles per hour. As you surely noticed, I was measuring these speeds at the blower nozzle. But when I moved out to about three feet away, which I feel is roughly the distance you'll be away from leaves and uh, other stuff you'll be blowing, I got roughly 25 miles per hour on low, around 38 miles per hour on high, and then 48 miles per hour on turbo. Uh, when it comes to noise, I feel this blower isn't ridiculously noisy. Really, all you hear is the whine of the turbine as it's running. I'm sure there's a little motor noise in there as well, but I think most of the noise is just from the fan running at such a high RPM. The noise level is low enough, I don't feel I even need to wear hearing protection while using it. Uh, to give you an idea of what the noise levels are like, I installed a decibel meter app on my phone, uh, placed it at about my head height, and turned on the blower to see how many decibels we were getting. On low, it was around 75 decibels, around 80 on high, and around 83 on turbo. Just as a point of reference, when you see the minimum of 45-ish decibels on the decibel meter here, that was just the ambient noise outside my house the morning I shot this video before turning the blower on. According to the app, it says 40 decibels is a quiet library, 80 decibels is loud music, and 120 is the threshold of pain. So assuming this information is accurate, and I have no reason to believe it's not, uh, this blower at its loudest is on par with loud music. So not too bad in my opinion. Overall, I love this blower. I feel it works for me and my home almost perfectly. Uh, if you already have other Ego tools and batteries, I feel it'll be a great addition to your collection as well. If you have a small yard or plan to use it for things that won't require you to run it for more than 20-ish minutes, uh, then I think you too will be very happy with this blower and the included 2.5 amp hour battery. Uh, on the other hand, if you have a larger yard and or have lots of trees and leaves that's going to take you longer than 20 minutes to take care of, uh, then the runtime on the 2.5 amp hour battery is going to be a problem for you. But again, if you're like me and already own other Ego tools and batteries you can use, uh, then this limitation is much less of a concern as the blower itself has plenty of power to handle most any job you can throw at it. Like all the rest of Ego's tools, I feel this blower is pretty expensive when compared with similar tools from their competitors. At the same time, and I say this in every one of my Ego reviews, 
I am a believer in the old saying, you get what you pay for. And I feel the quality and performance of the blower itself could be argued to justify the high price tag. Uh, other than that, I think this blower is fantastic. It's simple to use, I love the amount of power it offers, and I love the fact that it's cordless. I honestly feel bad now for people I see out using electric blowers that have to drag long extension cords around their yards. So uh, what are your thoughts about this particular blower? Uh, does it sound like the right fit for you? Or do you need something that can run for a longer amount of time or has a little more power? Please leave a comment and share your thoughts. If you're currently looking to buy an Eagle Blower, I hope you found the video informative and that it helped you with uh, your decision. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please do all the uh, usual YouTube things, you know, hit the like button, share it with your friends and family members, uh, leave a comment, and of course subscribe to the channel yeah! if you would like to see more videos from me. If you really enjoy the work that I do here on my channel and would like to help me continue to make content like this, uh, please check out my Amazon store at the link in the video description where you can purchase this blower as well as lots of other stuff that I've featured in some of my past videos. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you again soon in another video. We'll see you later.